The heart nourishes the entire body and, like all other organs, it too needs to be nourished. Moreover, because of its vital function, the heart needs more oxygen and nutrients. However, the heart muscle is too thick and tight to absorb nutrients and oxygen. That means the heart is unable to benefit from the blood vessels running through it. So how is this vitally important organ fed? The heart possesses a special apparatus that nourishes it known as the coronary circulation. The heart itself is the first recipient of the blood that emerges from the heart by way of the coronary arteries. Coronary arteries are two separate branches of the aorta that carries the cleanest and most oxygen-rich blood from the lungs. The distinguishing feature of these arteries is that they were created solely in order to nourish the heart. In contrast to other arteries, the coronary arteries leave the heart and then return to it instead of leading to other organs in the body. In this way, the most oxygen-rich blood nourishes the heart without going anywhere else, just as if it had identified the heart as the organ requiring the greatest amount of oxygen. Since the heart cells turn oxygen and sugar into energy in order to be able to function, the blood in the coronary arteries has to be rich in these substances, because the heart's energy consumption is regulated in line with its needs and can rise four or five fold in a matter of seconds. The coronary arteries have been perfectly equipped for their job. These arteries that enter the heart spread all through it by dividing and subdividing into smaller branches like those of a tree. Every cell that constitutes the heart needs a constant supply of nutrients and oxygen. As these arteries head towards the heart, they also establish sublinks with one another. This detail is highly important because if any of the arteries become obstructed in one way or another, the heart cannot be nourished and will die. These sub-connections are an important precautionary measure against that threat. Thanks to this precaution, if one artery becomes blocked, the blood can continue along the others bypassing the obstruction and thus reaching the heart. At this point we need to ask the following question. Could chance have thought of the possibility of the arteries becoming blocked? Could it have decided to take such precaution at a time when that threat did not yet even exist? That is of course impossible. Coincidences are random and unconscious events that leave no room for conscious intervention. This order, present in all living things including human beings, belongs to Allah who creates them and knows all their details. Our Lord has set this truth out in the Qur'an. Glorify the name of your Lord, the Most High, He who created and molded, He who determined and guided. 